Some teachers joking that there are only two types of students who solve in this equation. First type spending 55 minutes to solve it, while second type spending only 55 seconds to do it. And what's a difference between these two types? I'll tell you about it a little bit later, but at first, let's write a difference of squares on the left side like product of two brackets. So, left side equals to x minus y times x plus y and it equals to 55. As we know that set of x and y belongs to set of integers, we can understand that in the left side is a product of two whole numbers, which gives us 55. That's why we have to figure out all options when it's possible. We're gonna identify what product of two whole numbers gives us 55. Let's check it up. 55 can be equals to 1 times 55 or minus 1 to minus 55. 5 times 11 or minus 5 times minus 11. Now, if we change this number's places, we can get another four products like 55 times 1, minus 55 times minus 1, 11 times 5, and minus 11 times minus 5. And all we have 8 options of product, and they all gives us 55. Very good. So we're going to write 8 systems of equations. The first system, x minus y equals to 1, while x plus y equals to 55. Second, x minus y equals to 55, while x plus y equals to 1. x minus y equals to minus 1, while x plus y equals to minus 55. And x minus y equals to minus 55, x plus y equals to minus 1. And another 4, x minus y equals to 5, x plus y equals to 11, x minus y equals to 11, while x plus y equals to 5, x minus y equals to minus 5, x plus y equals to minus 11. And the last one, x minus y equals to minus 11, and x plus y equals to minus 5. Look at this bunch of systems. 8 systems in one problem. Have you ever seen that before? Of course, even a 6 years old can solve each of these systems. They are too simple. So, we can in a moment write the answers. You understand that there are 8 pairs of answers of any systems. And here are they. First system, x28, y27. Second, x28 y minus 27 third x minus 28 y minus 27 fourth x minus 28 y 27 fifth x8 y3 sixth x8 y minus 3 seventh x minus 8 y minus 3 and the last one eighth x minus 8 y 3 wow very, very impressive, isn't it? So many pairs, so many decisions. And all of this we got using by only one easier formula. Different of squares. So easy and so effectively. And now I think that you can figure out the difference of two types of students that I told you about at the beginning of this video. I hope, guys, you're going well. And I want to see you in the next video.